Hello guys, welcome to GC Engineering and Technical Drawing. We'll be constructing a crane hook using the principle of tangency. So we've drawn a vertical line, then we we'll pick a point of our choice, then we we'll draw a horizontal line, indicating it with the center line, and then we'll call this point here point. 0, 1 and then we'll measure from our diagram said from this point over here to this point is 90 millimeter so we'll measure 90 is 95 millimeter so we'll measure 95 millimeter upward from point 0 we'll put a point and then we'll indicate this point over here indicate the center line horizontally and they will call this point over here point zero two now from point zero two knowing that our uh, circle over here given that diameter is 40 and 27 24 millimeter so divide 24 by 2 which will get 12 millimeter so we'll pick 12 millimeter from our meter rule this way so place it, place it at point zero 0.02 then we'll draw circumference of our circle also knowing that this is radius 25 millimeter so we'll also open our compass I pick 25 millimeter from our meter rule. We'll place it at 0 0.02 again and then we'll draw a circle. Then move downward to 0 0.01. There's a radius here which is 22 millimeter. From our meter rule, we'll pick 22 millimeter at our compass. Now we'll place it at point zero 0.01 and then draw a cycle. Now, if you watch this diagram very well, find out from this vertical center line over here to this point of the circumference of this circle here is 65 millimeter. So we'll measure 65 millimeter to our left. And then we'll put a point at that place, 65 millimeter. Then we indicate it with just a small sign over here. This is 65 millimeter. Now you know that that there's a radius touching the circumference of the circle, 65 millimeter, which is radius 59 millimeter. So all what you need to do, you take your rule, open to 50. 9 millimeter now I've opened 59 millimeter you place it at this point here and then you strike little arc here cut that point point a now from point a using the same radius of 59 millimeter you draw a circle draw a circle this way now from our diagram we find out that the distance between these points is 13 millimeter to my left 13 millimeter to my right so i'll pick 13 millimeter then i'll place a point pick under 13 millimeter to my right then i'll place a point now i'll project those points downward can see it over here I projected those lines downward 
Now from our diagram, you observe that 17 uh, millimeter radius is actually touching this, the line of this 13 millimeter we projected downward and also touching the circumference of our circle over here. Now, when circle touches each other externally this way, you add. So we're adding 25 millimeter radius with 17 millimeter radius, which will give us 42 millimeters radius. So we'll pick from our meter rule, we'll pick 42 millimeter, and then we'll place it at point at point zero two. Then we'll scribe an arc this way. Now you find out that this point here, there's a radius of 17 millimeter radius touching this line and the circumference of this this tangent line and the circ circumference of this circle so all what you need to do is that you measure 17 millimeter from your line of 13 here measure 17 millimeter put the point then the place you put your point here you project the line downward so that it could by it will bisect the arc over here. Now, this point that it bisected the arc. Now, at our we we'll use 17 millimeter radius. Open our compass to 17 millimeter using our rule. Open our compass to 17 millimeter radius. Then we we'll place it at their point of intersection. And then we rule, and then we we'll construct a uh, arc over here the way we did. And raise this part a little. Then the next thing is that from this point of 13 millimeter here, we have a radius touching this point over here of 24 millimeter radius. So what we need to do we we'll measure 24 millimeter to my left then I'll please put the point here and I'll project that point downward this way now we projected the line downward here this way we did it we did so now you find out that this 24 millimeter radius is touching the radius of 20 of this cycle here externally of 25 millimeter so add 25 millimeter plus 24 millimeter which will give us 49 millimeters radius so we'll pick 49 millimeter using our rule and our compass pick 49 millimeter and then we'll place it at point zero two that will bisect our line over here now using the point of the intersection here you're going to reduce 24 millimeter. That is 24 millimeter from a meter rule using a compass. We'll place it at the point of the intersection over here and then draw an arc this way. Now you observe from our diagram that this is cycle, there's an arc here of. 43 millimeter touching this circumference externally of the cycle externally and touches on touching this one also externally so what we need to do is that we we'll add it touches this circle which is 22 millimeter externally so add 22 plus 43 millimeter that will give us 65 millimeter that is 22 millimeter plus 43 to give us 65 millimeter so we'll place it at point zero peak 65 millimeter here now picking from point zero one here you put your compass then you scribe an arc this way here now next thing we need to do is that this 24 touches this 43 millimeter externally so add 43 millimeter plus 24 millimeter that will give us 67 millimeters radius so open our compass 
using our meter rule, open to 67 millimeter. And then we'll place it at this point of the intersection here. Let me call it point X. Place it at point X. And then we'll bisect the arc over here. This way. So I don't need all the spots. So I erase it a little so I can see properly. Now, from this point of the intersection, we we'll open to 43 millimeter as radius. 43 millimeter as radius. We we'll place it at your point of the intersection over here. And then we join this way. Now for the diagram to look neat, you have to erase this option a little and this portion. Now we succeeded in getting this path of our crane hook. Now the next thing we'll do is that it says from our diagram, say from this midpoint here, our vertical midpoint to our left hand side over here is 20, 57 millimeters radius. So bring we measure 57 millimeter and I'll put a point and then at our spot to put our point we we'll project the line upward a little so now from our diagram also you find out that this is 17 millimeter upward that bisected this 17 millimeter that cut at this point to get our midpoint so just measure 17 millimeter upward using our rule 17 millimeter to put the point now from that point to indicate it with the center line now from this our point here let me call this point here point b1 now from point b1 the cell should open a radius to six millimeter a compass to six millimeter radius so open our compass to six millimeters radius. So place it at point B1. Then we'll draw a semicycle over here. Now the next thing we'll do is that from this portion over here, there's a cycle here touching this bigger cycle externally and then touching this smaller cycle here externally so we'll add we'll add 45 millimeter plus touching this cycle here 59 millimeter that'll give us 104 millimeter 104 millimeter so measure 104 millimeter here yeah. Four millimeter. So place it at point A over here, then scribe an arc. Now, also, we know that it's touching this radius here externally. So add six millimeter plus 45 millimeter, that will give us 51 millimeter as radius. So open our compass using our from our meter will measure 51 millimeter and then we'll place it at point B1 we'll bisect the arc now from our point of intersection over here we'll open to 45 millimeters radius in our meter rule then we'll place it at your point of intersection and then we'll draw an arc This way. Also, you find out that there's a cycle here of 45 millimeter. So we we'll say 45 millimeter touching this cycle here externally plus 22 millimeter. That will give us 67 millimeters radius. So pick 
67 millimeter house radius we'll play it at 0 0.01 over here and then subscribe an arc now also you discover that you discover that this radius here of 45 millimeter is actually touching this cycle here internally so minus 6 from 45 millimeter which will give us 39 millimeter so please I'll measure 39 millimeter then we'll place our compass pin at point B1 then we'll bisect the arc now using our radius 45 millimeter Forty five millimeter here, you add a point of intersection, we'll place it here, and then we rule. You can see it over there. Touching each other. So we've succeeded in drawing a crane hook using the principle of tangency. Thank you for watching. I still remain GC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Do have a blessed day ahead.